Hey guys, welcome to Instinctual Tarot. I am Dre Eden and I'm here to give you guys a mind, body, and spirit read. I'm not going to keep the intro real long, but I do want to thank you guys for adding, liking, and sharing on, across the social media platforms that I have for Instinctual Tarot. I just want to say thank you very much for rocking with me. Um, yes, the content will get very much better as we get to the summer. So, um, but today I'm gonna give you guys a mind, body, and spirit read. Um, I don't know, it was on my spirit to do one. Um, these messages might not resonate with everybody, but you take what does, you leave the rest, right? That's what we do. And um, I'm gonna get right into it. I prayed off the camera, I'm gonna ask spirit to send you guys love and light and that these messages reach you in the best mind, body, and spirit. All right, so let's see where we at as a collective. This is a collective reading. That means if you click on this video, then there is a message somewhere for you. Remember, energies are interchangeable. So I could be talking about you or I could be talking about somebody that you're involved with. I mean, that's how it goes for the mind. The two of swords, decisions. The mind is on making decisions. We'll talk about it. The body is empress like like that. Spirit, give me a card for spirit, please. Spirit. Oh, right there. All right. And the spirit is getting some attention. <laughs> I like it. This is where we are as a collective. Okay. On the bottom is foundation. The four of pinnacles. All right, let's jump right into this. So coming in, your first card is the Two of Swords. This speaks of making a decision either unwillingly. I say unwillingly because of the blindfold, and it's like either or, do or die. So the mind is right now telling you or telling us as the collective that we should be making the tough decisions right now. So everybody is in a situation where they're making sure that they understand what lies ahead of them and where they're going. They're led by intuition and things are coming in. And the things that are coming in that you're going to have to make these type of decisions on is by the new moon. So um, yeah, I can check that. I, I don't have the dates with me. But um, yes. The first April new moon is coming up. Um, and there is a, I think there's a moon in Virgo coming up at the end of this month in two days. I think on Sunday. Check that. That might be prominent too. So there needs to be some decisions and things done by that time. Basically, it's a timeline that we're all on to get to the next step. Um, mentally, you understand that things are... Um, at their peak, they're, they're at their rising where you need to understand where things are flowing in from. It's like you're not trying to walk in this wholeheartedly, just not understanding where you're going. This is a energy of understanding that it is either or. It's either I'm in it or I'm not. So basically with your mind, you're going into decisions, you're going into friendships, you're going into relationships. Is it real? Is it not? Am, um, are your intentions well? Do you mean me any well? Do you mean me any good? <laughs> so this is these situations that's coming up um, as a collective with the mind. Let's clarify that. Spirit, give me a card for the mind. Clarify the decision. the moon on things you might not know on things that's basically hidden from you on things that um the moon speaks of the shadow energy <laughs> the energy that we go within to understand so that makes so much sense on making an understanding that you understand that sometimes things are not well sometimes things are a little effed up you know and then we have to assess ourselves and go within and make a decision and then you try to make the right decision in those things but 
this speaks of there is no gray area. You are definitely moving towards either or. I'm either going to buy the car or I'm not. I'm either going to let my child go on with their stepfather for three weeks in the summer or I'm not. It's, it's, it's definite situations in the mind that you're coming up with. So right now, you're very clear-minded. You, you um. Yeah, there's no gray areas. You're very clear-minded, determined. Um, kind of prosperous in your endeavors when you're in this energy because there is really not too much that um, other people and other things can really get away when you're in this energy. It's very subtle, but speaks volumes. And with the moon energy, with that in the mind, is that you're confronting things, your own questions to yourself within the mind so in a spiritual realm when you have your shadow work what we call the demons that you confront and that can be anything that you you know some people like i always say you eat too much pizza <laughs> or you know i'm not gonna always put it on you know a substance or what type of substance a drug substance you know what i mean it can be anything obsessively that's in the background that you're really not seeing or not understanding. All those things are coming to the front forefront to understand, get a better understanding of how you want to move forward and how you want to carry on things in the mind. I like it. That's beautiful. Let's get one more on that. Spirit, give me one more card for the. I see it. I don't know. That was already out. That's the foundation card on the bottom. Spirit, give me. Oh, right here. The King of Cups. So the King of Cups speaks of. Sorry, guys. But speaks of a stern emotion of there is no compromise. I call this the non-compromising. <laughs> the king doesn't compromise with his emotions. He's very stern at the way he feels and the things that he goes as. Certain accolades that he collected and that he sees pride in. And those things are the things that they go for in feelings. You want to see things that is more prideful and joyful in your life. You're not really for the effery, you know, for the things that, you know, are below you or beneath and i'm not saying like oh you're so high or you're on this i'm talking about certain energies stay with me right certain energy energies that's below you that you have conquered and things that you have came up to that you trying to be like okay i got this now let them try me that's where you at in the mind of making the short his decisions to the best alternatives that you have going on. Confronting those things in your mind that you would usually basically um, scramble with. You're no longer having to come up with excuses to your own self of why things are, aren't are getting done. It's going to be like in your face um, because you didn't do it and because you didn't move or be, it, it's no longer going to be, oh, so-and-so did such and this now is basically putting the situations on yourself. You're understanding, you're moving forward. That's the shadow work that needs to be done and very stern in that. And I think that's a great place to be in the mind. That was beautiful. Let's move on to the bottom. Justice on the bottom. While we move into the body, the Empress. The Empress speaks. I always call this the whole card. <laughs> so I don't know. She looks a little frolic. She looks a little free. I mean, she got fruit on her dress. I mean, is she not the edible? But the thing is. Um, embodiment as the collective, you're feeling real feminine energy. Sorry, males. And for y'all, that means, you know, you get your hair cut, you know, and, you know, 
you're there for a front. You're, you're, you're present. You know, oh, I'm here. That's what I'm to do. You know, that's what guys do. So for females, it's more en- enough like y'all done got y'all fresh hormone shot from out of somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Probably done went to the doctors. He done hooked you up with some of your birth control. So you feeling extra fishy. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, real cunt like, you know. And in that energy exudes sexuality. You know what I'm saying? It's like hormone, the pheromone that you have in your body, right? And then that's what the men smell like. And same thing for the females and the males, vice versa. That is what people exuding right now. And, you know, everybody been on lockdown from the pandemic. So it is not surprising that the body right now as the collective is very empress like very you know very sexual demanding proper so in the body you, you probably you know y'all eating good <laughs> i see y'all over there with them shakes them smoothies right there you know what i mean understanding them greens trying the ones that haven't tried the neutral drinks you be like oh that's some bougie shit you know what i'm saying y'all trying it now getting into it, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you understand it. Okay, that's all right. So the Empress shows a vulnerability, but a sternness. It's like I understand <laughs> what to do with my body right now to get the best results. I like it. I like it. Spirit. Let me get another card for this. Oh, 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 oh. I'll take it. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the Four of Swords speaks of thought and being very complacent within them thought. And that is being very, well, being naturally aware in thought. So for the body, to put that within body, that means y'all out here doing Pilates. <laughs> I see y'all getting y'all yoga on. I see downward dog. See, this, this is the feeling. So, and you know, it's becoming, it's very much becoming um, spring. So this tells me that you guys are very thinking about what the body looks like. You know, um, maybe you got a little pose on the side. You're trying to get done. This means y'all stepping forward within that. And also, this also means a complacency of laziness. I'm going to keep that real. Because <laughs> some of you may be getting your freak on with the empress and then feeling like you ain't got to do nothing else. Because maybe you done met this guy in the window, <laughs> you know, see the window right there, <laughs> this guy in the window, maybe you don't met him, very colorful, you know, he got a lot of going on, you know, there's a lot going on with the four of swords, to me, it's very good to be that restful before you about to fight, because <laughs> you know, the four and then the five of swords is just, you know, five of swords, um, wounded victor, I call him, but right here, this complacency <laughs> is very sobering. So within the body, that means y'all are taking the time to understand certain things within having very much fun with it. So some of y'all having fun with y'all body? Whatever. I'm not here to judge. I don't know you do. But within this empress, she's understanding that her body is her temple. So... Some of y'all, as the collective, is very much doing the good drinks. Mad if you don't get your um, green drink. Mad. That's what she is. She very petty. So being petty and complacent, but stern in that. And being truthful to everybody that see you. See the stars over her head? She, everybody know. Everybody know. <laughs> it's not a secret. I could, that could go somewhere else too, but I'm going to keep it just right there for y'all guys. But that's a good place to be, being sexually vulnerable in a stern place.
play. That means y'all letting them know. Y'all letting her know. I want it. <laughs> you know you want it. You letting him know. You know you want it. If y'all marry, she want it. Because y'all stop acting. Y'all need to get y'all like, y'all, <laughs> y'all stop acting. Yes, you see her laying there, ready. <laughs> see him laying there, ready. And y'all in relationships, spirit is telling me to tell y'all, spontaneity in relationships is everything. All right, that's for somebody out there, a couple of you. All right, so being very frolic and free and understanding naturally in the body. I like that. Let's get one more for that. Oh, whoa, whoa. Come on, Spirit. What is that? What's that? The Seven of Pentacles. All right. So the Seven of Pentacles speaks of a guy looking at the fruits of his labor. I always say that. So if you're out there exercising, getting your little gym on, because remember, this is body, and it's a very physical portion of the body. You got the mental part of the body going on, and then you got your sexuality on. If this is just not, like, the realest, <laughs> I understand it. So y'all looking at, basically, the foundation of your body and then assessing is you nourishing it right. Am I nourishing this right? Am I doing what it takes to get the best results out of my anatomy? <laughs> and that's a good thing to be when you're realizing what you're putting in it. So basically, this is telling me you're understanding where and what, where you're putting your body and what you put into your body. And be very aware of where you put your body <laughs> and what you put in your body. You know, you can go sit on somebody's bed and be invested very quickly. And then take it all home. Which That's for somebody out there. Stop sitting on them people's bed. And just understand that it's better to know a foundational point within your body. That's like, okay, Spirit's trying to tell me, scenario. If you're going out and you know, you done did your Pilates today, you done got your downward dog on, friends want to drink. You're no longer, you know, drinking, but you're going to indulge to, you know, not look out like the deadbeat downer in the crowd or whatever it is. So, but you do have your own personal standards. This card is telling me that within your body, stay within those standards and you're going to see the fruits of your labor within your body. If if no liquor is in your thing, you know, get you a little fruit cocktail, tell them to spike it a little bit, a little wine, little Pinot Grigio, whatever your thing is, you know what I'm saying? But you have a limit. This card reference the understanding of your fruits of your labor if you keep it tangible. <laughs> if you keep it within the things, you can, you know, I am only going to touch this much. I'm only going to do this much. You know, very moderate, you know, situations on the way you treat your body in your physical form. This is also saying 2021, no bonnets <laughs> outside in the grocery store. This is saying that you are being viewed physically by whoever that you think you're going to be attracted. <laughs> they bit, they, see, he's sitting there looking at like, okay, can I see the value in that? I like that. Or can you see the value in yourself? Because that is like the best mirror. Right? So the body is within a vulnerable, but I'm ready and I'm ready to explore, but boundaries. I have boundaries. I'm eating good. I'm looking good. 
very self aware and understanding where that lies and being patient with yourself. I like that collective. Y'all doing good work. And assessing how you view yourself and how others view you. When you get a very good, clear, prosperous look at some things in your life, you'd be like, okay, I did the damn thing. And it's not even about getting acknowledgement from others within this card. He's looking at his own self his own tangible accomplishments, his own things that he put into the world and saying, well, damn, I did that. You know, I made something out of nothing. I kind of crawled into the bottom of the belly of the beast and crawled back out and kind of made it out with something. I don't know who that was for, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. And that's a beautiful place to be with embodiment, understanding, you know, very... Being, when you can view yourself in a physical way, like really assess yourself through your eyes, your own self, you know, we all don't see ourselves as clearly through the lens like other people can. You know, we all have a different type of sight. We all see what we want to see on certain people and certain things. And we also all don't see something, you know. But this is viewing yourself with the embodiment and actually liking the things that you see. Some of the physical physical things in your body could be an illusion. The sevens always speaks about the illusion, you know, but they're real. Illusion, I'll just swipe that out for facade. <laughs> Assessing the things, maybe you're not... Um, liking the weave anymore. It was like, I'm just going to go natural, you know, or maybe some of you guys are, you know, kind of conscious about the grays and like, it's whatever. See the little white hands here? He don't give a damn. He made his. He got to a point where he, he he's all right. She's all right. I like that. That's very, that, that, that's, that's a lot of chilling and a lot of sexiness within the body. I could take that. All right. To the spirit, my favorite one. On the bottom is the page of pentacles. And we're going to get to those outer energies in a minute. But the three of pentacles speaks of work well done and being viewed by the commoners <laughs> or shall I say the people or your peers but in spirit I would say there is pretty plenty wealth in the three of pinnacles and giving yourself the acknowledgement that you made it to a certain place in a certain spot within your spirituality. You were just tested and you passed. See, if you would have had, if this would have been a two, it would have been so up in the air, I wouldn't have been knowing what the energy would have been in the mind of just um, no tangible decisions. No, you made it past the decision to do something and you are about to see what that does to the spirit and how that right there elevates you guys. Now, these are the ones that's really tapped in. <laughs> you, you guys, you know what I'm saying? If you've been doing your work, that's you. That's you right there. <laughs> and these people or the reference of the people, I would say, because this is the spirit. So spirit is showing you that you are being viewed in such a way. So this should be an embodiment type of energy. You guys should feel the wealth already. 
you should feel already where things are going before this Virgo moon coming up and the first new moon. Virgo full moon, I think, is coming up on a Sunday. And the first new moon in April. You guys should absolutely know what things are coming into fruition because this is nothing but the Three of Pentacles to me is nothing but spirit. <laughs> it is spirit guiding you to, okay, three. The three lets you know, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Mind, Body, Spirit, you know, Trinity, that you are in line. Come on, alignment. There's nothing else to even say about that. <laughs> Not for the spirit. Y'all been doing right, eating right. And remember, when you do certain things, like when you eat right, when you um not being malicious, mal never could say that word, malicious, and your your thoughts are pure, and um when you get those tests throughout the day, you and you know the tests they're different and personal by person. But you know what you tell yourself in the very serious conversations with yourself. I know y'all all spiritual. Y'all all talk to yourself. It's all right. It's how we get it through. Because sometimes you only got yourself when you're going through the thick of some things, right? And that's okay. But those things, and then when you come to test them to it, that's what just happened. And collectively, you guys made it through. That's beautiful. So the spirit is in a real good place, a place of acknowledgement. You know, you're different from your spirit. We're all different from our intimate spirit. I think it's the person that's been on this world forever trying to get us to get right. You know, that's my analogy. Because <laughs> it's so smart. Do this, don't do that. Do this, don't do that. Do this, don't do that. You listen to them and you're in a 100% great slate. You don't and listen to yourself, your brain. And it's like, uh, I knew I shouldn't have did that. I, well, what told you not to? Right? That, that'd be the funniest thing. Judgment. Judgment and blessing. Judgment and spirit. That's beautiful. Judgment in the spirit, to me, calls for the perfect healing. It, it was coming from a place of free will, acknowledgement, wisdom. And just because you guys, probably some of you, can't see that within yourself, it is so there. And other people view, view it. Judgment in spirit, to me, is the ultimate healing. It's not even a hierophant to me, because the hierophant, major icon, to me, is understanding the logic of spirit. Judgment is, I done went through the water, hell, and back. <laughs> And I'm feeling something. And I'm doing something. They're blowing a trumpet. So for you guys, this is amazing. For all the turmoil that most of us went through, through the pandemic, this is the light at the end of the tunnel within spirit, the way you need to feel. Having a, a surety within spirit that things are going to come your way and be all right. And if you're aligned with this acknowledgement and this judgment, and you guys know what that means in your life, then you're on your way to marvelous and great things. Come on, collective. Yeah, I'm working. Oh, sorry, guys. 29 minutes in, but you know, this I, I had to. I had to. I had to get it in. Spirit, give me one more for spirit. Thyself. <laughs> Somebody feeling like boss. 
the boss, the king of wands. Wands speaks of feelings. <laughs> Sword speaks of thoughts, right? So feeling in spirit, like the king of wands is like, nobody can tell you shit right now. Sorry for my language. No, it's very clear to you, your spiritual intent and how that's going to move you. And that's very crazy to me because it, it it put that saying in my head just now. Spirit put that saying in my head. Well, remember when they always told us to put God in everything you do? Yes, yes, you do that. Because that's when those situations will show the fruit and base of where you were trying to get to the whole time. You could, you, you definitely ask spirit for something and then leave it alone because you don't want to dwell on those things. But coming from a feeling in spirit, oh, I know my manifestations are going to bear fruit. <laughs> it's a little cocky spiritually, but hey, I ain't knocking you. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Also, also, can you be spiritual, egotistic? Because if you can, I think I'm all here for that if it comes from a very valuable and natural place. This has got me excited because I, I'm just like, okay, like what else more could you want spiritually by acknowledging that you are doing the work? Understanding that your manifestations, your um, cries, because sometimes things aren't all good and you lead to spiritual movement to move you guys forward. Best believe your best foot is going to come forward. And I'm sorry I can't sit here and say, oh, shit, going to be bad. If things are bad for you spiritually right now, you are out of alignment. It's just that simple. Because <laughs> collectively, and I actually talked to a few friends yesterday, and collectively, yes. <laughs> Before I said anything, it was just like, yeah, we're good over here. And I'm like, well, yeah, I did a reading. I do my own personal reading, so I know how we're doing collectively. But this right here is just like beautiful. <laughs> Having to this one. So in the spirit, you are acknowledging that you're spiritually aligned in doing the work. Spirit is acknowledging to you that your work is being acknowledged. <laughs> I love that. It's, it's one thing to understand, okay, where you're going spiritually. And then spirit letting you know that, yes, my son. Yes, my daughter. You're good. <laughs> Moving forward. And then you actually embodying a feeling of spirituality. That's absolutely beautiful. I love that. Mind, body, and spirit read, y'all. And on the end, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Four of Pentacles. And I call these the Outer Energy cards. <clears throat> they were the last card on each row, Mind, Body, and Spirit. And for the collective Outer Energies, basically, this what could mess this up. <laughs> so people want to know, well, what could, you know, mess all this good mind, body, and spirit. I'm about to tell you. Clinging on to too much or too little. It, it is like time to go with the flow and understand. That. that don't mean be stupid. That don't mean give your things away. That, that, that means have discernment. Understand where that's going. So this person... Keep people out of your pocket. That's what that means. 
keep people out your pocket. He clutching that because he feel somebody is in somebody's pocket. That's the problem. Some people watching your pocket, people all in the things that you got to do. They're in your phone. Notice people's eyes when you like glare over or you like testing. People on your phone, watch your pocket. And I'm not saying like be all, um, all crazy. Oh my God, hysterical over the situation. Just be aware, acknowledgeable of where your funds are going, where they're placed. I mean, how much insurance and all that, you know, <laughs> you get per day. Check that for you wealthy ones. That's what's stop it. People in people's pockets. So spirit is telling me for this card, meaning for outer energies to protect this situation, you got to protect your foundations, your money, your cars, your, 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 you know, just not protect them where you're um, worried over things. Just a knowing Got it? <clears throat> Let me keep. The Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles speaks of a newness to your money. So if people come to you with new get money schemes and it just sounds too good to be true or it sounds enough true to be just good enough, you might want to check that out too because right now the scams is at a all-time high and I don't know what he's selling but he's he don't know shit about it excuse my language <laughs> so for you out there that's a message google these people before you know you start getting their little services because some of them started yesterday I, I don't know and that's saying you can touch feel see you know in a tangible way so you know they want to fix cars at walmart no, I'm not, I'm not saying that's not a good business, but you don't need that. <laughs> or the new weed man for some of you out there. Don't trust them. I don't know. That's for somebody. I don't know. Something said that. It's somebody. I know why. He's fresh. He knew. He just hit the block. He's selling anything. That type of energy. All right. And that's where anything. People, places, and things, people. Check the newness in the situation. That's the message. <laughs> All right, guys. Justice. Justice in the outer energy is more of if it was coming towards you, if justice was coming to you, that is great tidings and great things. If things think they need justice from you, then that would suggest that people are in a very tiptoe eggshell type of situation around or your energies out there. Well, when you feel this damn good, you, people should be on more of an eggshell type situation. And for this to be a more outer energy, it's more of the things that you did that you don't do no more. You know, intuition puts you in more of a crowning situation, whether we choose to follow those things or not. So a justice on the outer coming to you, and for some of you, it's a very beautiful thing because it's saying that the fruits of your labor are being met, balanced. Maybe a Libra got something for y'all. <laughs> That's something. I don't know. But the beautiful thing in it is either way you see it, whether people see you as justice, or as justice come to you, it's the energy of being very blessed. 
So the only problem we had is over here in the outer energy is with the people. Watch these people. They like to wear black in the summertime. That is beautiful. And that was my mind, body, and spirit. Ooh, I'm going to get an oracle card for you guys real quick. Spirit, give me an oracle card for these beautiful people out here. Oh. Relationship and harmony. Now, isn't that something for a mind, body, and spirit reading? Archangel Reguero. We angels are open. The heart of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So relationships in harmony, meaning <laughs> to me, y'all noticing these people that's trying to fuck y'all over, excuse my language. It'll be harmonized because that is the whole beauty of understanding where people are coming from. The relationship and harmony could be with yourselves. It doesn't necessarily have to be with anybody else. And from this reading of mind, body, and spirit, that only comes from within yourself. So the relationships that you guys have with yourself will become harmonious. And then you guys, <laughs> that light. You see that light? You see that light? I don't know. This is something about, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's beautiful. Let me get one more for the collective. Here, give me one more for the collective. Yep, there it is. Remember who you are. <laughs> Love it. My favorite, Archangel Michael. You are powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Remember who you are. Remember where you came from. Remember who you're going. <clears throat> Remember who you're going. Remember where you're going. That was beautiful. Thank you guys for watching Instinctual Tarot. I am Dre Eden. If you resonated with this at all, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you liked it, please share. Please comment. I would love to know you guys' feedback. And I will see you guys later.